guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Taylor, also known as Taylor with an E. And right now I am just finishing up some packing for a last minute trip I'm taking to Jeju Island. This is actually my first time ever going to Jeju in the four years I have lived here, which is kind of crazy to think about because it's a super popular place to go on vacation here in Korea. The reason why I am actually taking this trip this weekend is because spring has finally come to Korea. Oh my gosh, I have been waiting for it to get warmer. Winter is definitely not my favorite season, but one of the best parts about spring here in Korea is all of the beautiful cherry blossoms you can see once spring comes. So they usually hit Jeju first since it's the most southern part of Korea. So they're currently in their peak season. If anything, they might be at the end of it by this weekend. But that's why I'm actually going down there because I want to hit all the prime spots to see these cherry blossoms this weekend. But anyway, let me get back to my packing, finish this up because I'm wearing a little bit behind. <laughs> But yeah, I'm gonna finish this and then get in the taxi and I will talk to you guys in a bit. guys so we just touched down in Jeju and oh my gosh I am already loving the vibe just even from the airport you know you walk out and you automatically see all these palm trees which really makes you feel like you're in a different part of Korea so there's actually supposed to be some rain this weekend so we're gonna start our cherry blossom hunting a little early we are about to go to a very famous cherry blossom street here in Jeju and they have all these cherry blossom trees lit up at night so it should be a really cool scene over there and I'm really excited to get this show on the road oh my gosh I'm so excited to be in Jeju right now for a minute and talk to you guys about what is happening right now but like I said this is a very very famous if not the most famous street for cherry blossoms here on Jeju Island um, the street is called Jeonnong Ro. Basically every year this is where they hold their annual cherry blossom festival but because of COVID last year and this year it has been cancelled. Usually the street is all closed off during cherry blossom season but because there's no festival this year that's why there are still like cars going up and down the street but there are so many people out here taking pictures. Wow like the cherry blossoms literally just like canopy over you. It's amazing.
Okay, so we just got back to the hotel. So we have a little bit of time. We're about to head downstairs to meet our driver. So we actually hired a personal driver for this trip. Usually when it, if we were to come here, we would probably rent a car, but because of COVID, we haven't been able to travel home and renew our international permit. So this is basically the next best thing because I hear public transport on the island can sometimes be a little bit unreliable. So basically we found this site called Jeju Global Taxi. And what it is, it's a taxi service catered to foreigners. So all the drivers speak English, Chinese, and I believe Japanese. So really all I had to do was go online, put in my name, where I'm staying, the places we're going, as well as the time we want to reserve the driver for. And he's going to take us around, or she, he or she, <laughs> is going to take us around to these cherry blossom spots. Door opening. Awesome. I don't think I've been in a car that has the Wi-Fi service, so we're gonna go ahead and connect. Oh, there we go. Juju. Taxi Wi-Fi. Perfect. All right. So second stop for today, we are headed to Jeju University, which is another really famous cherry blossom street here on Jeju Island. So like I said, we're trying to get to all these spots before this rain hits. <laughs> so. We're going there now and we shall see how it goes. adventure is Noksan Road, which is this beautiful road you see behind me. Now, the reason why I wanted to come here is obviously all these flowers. Like, it's not just cherry blossoms that you see. You have these beautiful yellow canola flowers too, which just makes for such an amazing scene. Oh my gosh. So, we're kind of going to just explore this road. Apparently, it's 10 kilometers long. So, <laughs> we're obviously not going to explore all of that, but we're just going to have a grand little walking adventure down this beautiful road.
So we're taking a little detour of our cherry blossom hunting adventure. Our taxi driver actually recommended we go to Songsan in Ilchubong. So Ilchubong means sunrise peak in Korean and it's a very famous site here in Jeju Island. So it wasn't too far away or I guess it isn't too far away from Moksan Road. So that's why we're taking a little little detour over there and I'm really excited because actually I have seen pictures of this place and it's right on the water and it's supposed to be one of the best places to view the sunrise on Jeju Island. So I'm really excited. Oh guys, look at this. Look at this whole mountain. It's so cool. So I don't know if we're gonna hike all the way up it or not. Hiking up, you need to pay an admission price. But there is a place that's free where you can kind of view it. So not sure if we're gonna do that or not. <laughs> so this is the observation point. This is the free, the free spot. You don't have to pay for. Guys, look. It is amazing up here i can't even imagine how this would look like with the sunrise on a warm beautiful day wow in our taxi and before we left this area our taxi driver was like okay I know the secret spot it's the best view you're gonna get and I think he's right and there's no one over here but wow look at that that's so nice so actually what makes this spot so great what he told me was it's right between Udo and then you have the peak over here and the sunrise rises right in the middle. So this is a spot to be if you want to watch the sunrise from Songsan Ilchubong Peak. Well, I guess we're not really on the peak, but this whole area. Huh. All right, guys, finally made it back, finally resting. I feel like we've been going all day today, but I'm loving the whole vibe of Jeju, which I think I've probably mentioned like a million times. I could see myself living in Jeju, which by the way, if you're thinking about applying to Epic, Jeju is one of the places you can put as your preference. But anyway, yeah, I just feel so at peace here. I think part of that reason is we had our driver today. Like that ended up being such a great decision you know because I just think about all the times we have traveled and we're always looking up the public transportation we need to take waiting for buses um, even just driving ourselves around can be tiring after a while and navigating you know all those things are kind of draining when you travel so having a driver for you to just take you to anywhere you want to go has been amazing and we're gonna use him again tomorrow but he's also been like really knowledgeable about the area and been like telling us a lot about you know different parts of Jeju or if we you know pass a certain landmark he can you know tell us more about it which is another thing we wouldn't have gotten if we were driving ourselves around and plus he recommended this great black pork restaurant so it just all around so many benefits to reserving your own taxi driver to take you around the island. Yeah, it's, it was a great 
first day and I, I'm really loving Jeju so far. So anyway guys, that's all for today's Jeju vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Join me tomorrow for part two of this Jeju trip. I hope you guys have an amazing, wonderful day and I will see you next time.